Today at City Greenhouse, we're gonna learn how to make a window box. Window boxes are good because it can be enjoyed from two angles, one from inside your house and one from outside your house. You have to make sure that you have a very heavy duty bracket like this that'll hold this window box. When this window box is full of flowers and then watered, probably weighs about 40 pounds. Make sure that your window box has drainage holes like this one does, you see right there. And one old wives tales too, is you never put rocks at the bottom of your window box. First mistake often people make is that they fill up the window box all with soil. Uh, you don't wanna do that. You just wanna put the bottom layer in. So we put a little soil in there. These are gonna be my anchor plants. Generally, I wanna choose the tallest one. So this is blue salvia. What I'm doing now is I'm just teasing the roots a little bit. This will force the plant to actually grow out in a different direction. I like to do my plantings in threes. It just makes it a lot easier to do arrangements. When you're planting in a window box, you don't wanna see dirt at all. You want the thing to be very full right from the get-go. And that's what I strive for. So we're doing like a red, white, blue theme here. So I got some coleus here that's a dark red. And then as I get the plants closer together, that's when I'm gonna backfill and you don't have to tamp it down very hard. Just let it fall down naturally with gravity. This is emerald lace potato vine. This actually does grow a potato, but you wouldn't want to eat it. It's very bitter and pink. This is great because it's a nice bright green and it's a very large cascading plant that'll take up a lot of space. So we put these on the end and don't be afraid to really like make it fit. Again, when you're backfilling, make sure the soil is below the lip of the window box. So these are red, white, and blue petunias. This is a flag mix. All these plants that I'm using are basically full sun plants. So if you don't have four to six continuous direct sunlight for these, it's probably not wise to use this plant. We grow these at Franklin Park Greenhouse. We grow about two thirds to three quarters of the plants that we use in the city of Boston. Always buy a little bit extra than what you're gonna, you think you're gonna need. That way, if you do make a mistake, that you'll always have the material left. So this is basic finca vine. It just breaks up the, the pattern a little bit. You might find too, when you first water these, that you might have to add a little bit more soil because the soil will settle, but that's okay. It should be full because you want a very full effect right as you start. We're not waiting for this to grow in. And one thing I always do too, is I take my fingers and run it along the edge. That way I know that the window box is actually gonna hold, hold water and it's not gonna overflow. It's best to use a watering can when watering a window box. If you use a hose, you run the chance of just making a mess. So that's your finished product. These will get a lot larger. These grow up taller. Salvia, you can pinch back the spent flowers and they'll grow new ones. So all these flowers that are here are ever flowering and you should get at least two or three months out of flower for this. Good luck.